Welcome back to What's the 401 Sports. We are in a New York state of mind, and we are going to focus on the New York football giants. Recently, Martin Luther King III visited the organization to encourage the staff and the players to become more politically active and use their influence to help others become more involved in civic engagement. The event was sponsored by RISE, a nonprofit or organization founded in 2015 by Stephen M. Ross who is the owner of the Miami Dolphins. The organization was founded to um, harness the unifying power of sports to um, improve race relations and civic engagement. Mike, you know, with this visit and uh, Stephen Ross, be, his organization being associated with the visit, what do you think about Stephen Ross's voice or lack of voice when he came to the national anthem and the protests? Well, I think that with Stephen Ross, one of the issues that you have with him is that he's been a flip-flopper. And what I mean by that is he was supporting Trump in a lot of ways, not necessarily some of what Trump was doing with this anthem, but uh, one of the things he, he was uh, appro he approved is some of the policies that Trump has instituted since he's been uh, the, the president. At one point, uh, Ross said that all the Miami Dolphin players were to stand during the national anthem, and then, of course, he backpedaled on that. And there have been numerous sort of comments like that where he'll say one thing and then he'll say the other. So I think that definitely hurts him. Similar to Pete Carroll, right, who went ahead and penned this essay, whether for good or bad, and whether or not people are going to buy into it or not. I will give Ross some credit here since he has started this RISE program, right, whether or not he is fully involved in this. He has put his name to this, and he has shown at least some, um, uh, you know, he has shown that he is willing to kind of at least make some type of a difference. But at the same time, uh, as, as I pointed out before, a lot of these NFL owners, they're completely out of touch. And then with the whole Colin Kaepernick situation with some of these owners, when Colin Kaepernick started uh, kneeling, what, almost now two years ago, uh, they didn't think that this was going to be a big deal. They really didn't. If they did, they would have issued a statement. They would have done something from the get-go. But they let this fester and they let this drag on until it really became not even, you know, as you pointed out earlier in the show, Keisha, until Donald Trump kind of got in the mix and started calling the players out. So I think with, with Stephen Ross here... Uh, it's it's tough to judge, but at the same time, I think if you're going to be all in, you've got to be all in. You can't just be on the fence and say one thing and then do another. Yeah, I mean, he did flip-flop, as you mentioned, um, in regards to the protest, um, whether or not he felt as, I mean, he felt as though his, his words were misconstrued when he said that the the players will stand during the, the national anthem. You know, for him... Uh, what his point of view was that he felt that the protests were no longer effective because the meaning behind them was hijacked by Donald Trump and those of his ilk. So for him, he's like, well, let's find a different way. And I'm wondering, you know, as I think about the protests itself and and how I feel about them and, and you know, I wonder the same thing, you know, I protests are not and demonstrations are not meant to be comfortable. They're, I think in their nature, they're meant to be in your face and disruptive to a certain sense. But, you know, what happens when your message is lost? Is it time to change course and figure out another way uh, to demonstrate and to protest? But then, you know, if you do that, if you find another way and change course, are you somehow admitting defeat? Are you backing down? So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of conflicted on it as well. Um, you know, again, with the owners, they're business people. They voted, some of them voted for Trump. Stephen Ross says he likes him, but not everything about him. So, I don't know, it's hard. But, you know, I do give him uh, an A for effort in terms of putting his name behind an organization whose mission is to, um, to bring about social change and improve race relations.